How's it going everybody? It's Friday, May 17th and I got you this week's saltwater video and I am in high spirits today because we have so many incredible fish. It doesn't matter, freshwater, saltwater, invertebrates, plants, doesn't matter. We have tons of incredible stuff in right now. I'm super excited to get it started. We're starting out with our saltwater stuff and let's get right into it. Frankly, there's amazing fish everywhere I look today. So I think I'm just gonna run the line in order and show you all the cool stuff we have in right now. Tons and tons of stuff though. I know I won't be able to get to everything, but you'll just have to come in to see the rest. But starting us off this week, one of, if not possibly my favorite species of puffer. I absolutely love these guys. Beautiful blue spot, Toby puffer, sometimes also called the orange tail puffer. Absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, interactive, personable, adorable. What is not to love about these guys? Incredible fish. Hanging out in there with them, we have the gorgeous Park Eye Hawkfish, as well as Fiji Fox Face, beautiful angel there. Hanging around down there is a gorgeous fairy wrasse, a beautiful red chorus wrasse, or clown wrasse as they're sometimes called. And hanging around down there, you see the tail fin of another gorgeous coral hogfish. And of course, right back to our little star. The hits just keep coming because look at this absolutely gorgeous twin spot wrasse. What an absolute beauty to have here. And hanging out there with them, we got a big old beautiful sailfin tank, a gorgeous little panther grouper. Hanging out in the rock work there, something you do not see very often at all. I can't really see much right now is a female blue throat trigger. We very, very often get the males in, but quite rarely do you find the female blue throat triggers. So hey, if you've got a male, good time to find it a partner. Hanging out in there with them too, we got a little adorable school, some Dyspyranthias, one of my favorite species. Absolutely love these guys, as well as some big old chunky XL Chromis. Really, really cool. And because he really just wants to hang out, we get you another better look at that gorgeous panther and a few more of these absolutely gigantic chromas. <laughs> really, really cool stuff. And the momentum isn't even slowing slightly because we're right on into it with this gorgeous big XL bullet goby hanging out with the beautiful dog face buffer, big gorgeous purple tang, hanging out down there with the gorgeous black trigger. You saw the beautiful male green bird wrasse, a nice school of mono argentavis, a huge and gorgeous flagfin angel. Flagfins are one of my absolute favorite angels. Something about them, they're just so pretty. And really, really awesome to keep. They're also quite a lot less nasty than a lot of angels, so it's kind of nice. And of course, big, beautiful volatile lionfish. Also, I don't know if I mentioned the clown tang, but yes, there is also a gorgeous clown tang. A lot was happening very fast. There's a lot to see. I'm going into overdrive here, but super cool stuff. Absolutely love it. Oh, the clown thing's gonna come show off. Amy, you wanna talk about my brain going into overdrive? There's a lot going on in this tank. We've got a handful of beautiful baby blue hippo tanks, an adorable baby dragon rasp, a ton of nice sized little chromis, this chunky little yellow mimic tang, a ton of these awesome little oscillaris clowns, Beautiful long nose hawkfish. A couple of uh, beautiful little cleaner wrasses. Those are the ones you see going all over and picking on the fish, eating the little parasites and stuff. A few more gorgeous Tispire Anthias. Coming on down here, you see all those beautiful little baby clowns, as well as these two incredible banded pipefish. I absolutely love banded pipefish. Look at them, they're beautiful. How cool are those? And of course, Probably one of the coolest things in here. This absolutely amazing little Belarus angel. These are one of the coolest little angels. Reef safe, beautiful. They just retain awesome patterns, but they'll also start to get these like burgundy reds as they get older. Absolutely wicked, love it. And look at all these little clowns, so cute. I know some of you at home are like, oh, but what about the invertebrates? Do not worry, we are there. We have no shortage of them. Starting with the gorgeous arrow crab. Some beautiful white claw hermits. One of my favorite hermit crab species. Of course, sassy little coral banded shrimp. An adorable little arrow crab. 
freely arrow grabs. You can really kind of see the difference when you see them back to back. As well as the gorgeous zebra urchin. How pretty that is. And then scoot on along. Another frilly with some pincushion urchins and a few of those white claw hermits. Here's a little face shot of one of them. That was cute. Another big gorgeous white claw. You can actually almost see that white claw that I, they're named for. And of course, gorgeous long spine urchin. We'll see a little bit more of that going forward. But before that, we gotta make a stop over at the shrimpies. We got a beautiful big scarlet blood shrimp, another nice big chunky one there, really dark. I like that one. Good size cleaner shrimp. Some awesome little chocolate chip stars and a little tiny scarlet blood shrimp. Hanging out with a little tiny cleaner shrimp. Got them in all sizes for you guys. Tons of different snails and macaralgies right now. We've also got the famous little peppermint shrimp. Graver eating the Aptasia anemone. Some more stars. Tons of blue leg hermit crabs, bumblebees, and emerald crabs. And finally, as we come back into our hybrid invertebrate fish area, we've got a few more gorgeous long spine urchins, as well as a wonderful pair of mandarin gobies. Some really awesome feather duster clusters. You can see a little uh, horseshoe crab digging his way through the back there. A couple of big, beautiful yellow citron gobies hanging out together as well as the tiniest, cutest little flag fin angel I have ever seen. Look at how adorable that little guy is. Absolutely in love with him. Super cool. And continuing on, we've got that gorgeous general star. The beautiful maroon clowns hanging out together with a handful of anemones. And sliding on over here, the gorgeous watchman goby. Gorgeous little blue-eyed tang, one of my favorite to mini, or bristle tooth tangs little uh, Hector's Goby or Rainford's Goby back there. A few more little clowns, some nice big chunky chocolate chip stars. Some awesome little saddleback clowns hanging out with their sea bay anemone. And a little shark nose Goby. A little neon Goby. And a teeny adorable little flame back pygmy angel. And finally, big yellow mimic tang. Pair of really awesome clowns. A few more Neon Gobies. Moving right along, we've got this incredible looking orange storm clownfish. I'm in love with the storm clowns. They're just Picasso like Jackson Pollock patterns. They're so cool. Absolutely love this guy. Very beautiful example. Hanging out there with him. A couple real big chunky firefish. Another gorgeous little yellow angel. You saw that. Adorable starry blenny with a little muppety face. Hanging around back there, you got a copper band butterfly and a solar rats. And next door, we've got a beautiful little scopus tang, a nice big beautiful purple firefish. And moving on next over, gorgeous convict tang, some bangai cardinals, and a bicolor angel. I don't know why I started getting a little southern there for a second. Maybe I was just too excited, but check these out. I have not seen these in forever. Some cross damsels. Really, really cool damsel species. Speaking of something I haven't seen in forever, how about a neon dotty back? One of the prettiest dotty backs out there. I mean, they earn the name. They are neon orange with a neon blue stripe down the back. How awesome is that? We've also got a handful of one of my favorite clownfish, adorable skunk clowns. I absolutely love these little guys. And they're great at hosting anemones, by the way. Got a couple at home and they took right to the anemone. Absolutely love them. And finally, a bunch of damsels. Got lemon damsels and yellowtail damsels and domino damsels. And technically, clownfisher damsels. They've also got a gorgeous little tomato clown. Let me tell you, I'm running out of breath, but we ain't running out of fish. So I might have to start skipping over a few. But we've got these awesome black or eyed damsels hanging out with a whole bunch of gorgeous black ocellaris as well as another nice gorgeous scopus tang, another neon dotty back with my favorite, the Springer Eye Damsels, and a little Valentini Puffer. Speaking of Valentini Puffer, we've got another one hanging out here with another Orange Storm, as well as a little Karan Angel, a little Fox Face, and another little Blue Eye Tang. Cool stuff. 
I really am running out of steam here and I still gotta finish the whole Fresh Funder video. So I'm gonna run through these last few real quick and then get to the big special guy at the end. We've got Spotted Sweet Lips, for the Black Storm Clown, real cool Snowflake Clown, the Yellow Mimic. This is more of a Mocha Storm Clown, it's kind of a brownish color instead of that solid black color. We've got a Razor Rass, Flamingy Tang, and a couple of Dark Finch. We've got that Huma Huma Trigger, beautiful spiny box. Some real cool stuff. Let's check out the end. There's a lot of fish that didn't make it into the video this week. You'll have to come by and check them out yourself. But what I couldn't absolutely resist putting in the video is this gorgeous pair of fish here. This is a big, beautiful district in the sailfin tang hanging out in there with this nice, big, chunky harlequin tusk fish. One of my absolute favorite grasses. Both incredible fish. Love to see it. Great way to cap off an amazing week. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for this week's video. Absolutely incredible week. I mean, there's some fish even right behind me swimming by now that I didn't even get the chance to feature. See if you can spot them. Or come down and see them for yourself. But until next time, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and any of our new local customers looking for anything cool or interesting, like that adorable little dragon wrasse, feel free to email us at contactdesignaquatic.com. We'd love to see you get it in for you. Until next time.